started tossing around different song ideas and so on. It was kind of like they agreed that there would be two rules. The first rule was we don't do any Roots or D'Angelo songs. The second rule was we don't have any other rules. What I wanted to do was show people how we come up with song structure. During the voodoo session, working with D'Angelo, we just go through people's catalogs and jam on a part and then change this and change that. Next thing you know, it just totally morphs into a whole nother song. And I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm ready, fellas. Roots are on the main stage tonight. And then right after that, we have the Super Jam. And it's gonna be two totally different shows. Like what you see with the Roots is what you get with the Roots. And then you're gonna have parts of the Roots come over and do the Super Jam. You're not even gonna know it's the same musicians. Thank you. The Roots music is so deep in my DNA. I don't see it as work, you know. I now see it as a mission. I think Bonnaroo, of all the festivals that I'm familiar with and have played through the years, you know, majority of the European festivals and the festivals in the States, this is certainly one of, if not the most artist friendly. And what I mean by that is not just that the catering is nice in the dressing rooms, but that you give and encourage the artists to do something outside their ordinary set. How y'all feeling out there? This is the process. You, you get to see our world, so. We're going to do a Funkadelic favorite.
Prairie Home Companion on crystal meth and moonshine. It's gonna be a ton of fun, come check it out. I think a legend is somebody that brings a transcendent talent to the stage. And because Bonnaroo is sort of this escape from reality, 